guys, welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial, today we are going to create this. Create a new composition, name it logo animation. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, frame rate 30, as well as set time duration 5 seconds long, you are free to use your own settings, then hit OK. Now let's create a new solid. I am calling it background. Let's slightly adjust the color, for our solid, hit OK. Let's move to the next step, import our texture image into timeline, it give in the description. Now select the ellipse tool and draw the mask to the texture layer as shown. While drawing a mask make sure to press Ctrl to draw a perfect circle. For mask 1 change the mask feather value to 1000 pixels. Now select the texture layer go to effects and presets, and search for sharpen. Add it to texture layer. Let's change sharpen amount to 130. Now for texture press T to open opacity Change opacity to 25% And change blend mode to hard light Select all layer and pre-compose it I call it background comp Now add your logo Press S to open scale, now change the scale value according to your requirement. In my case, I am keeping the scale value of 21%. Now go in effects and preset, and search for fill effect, and add into the logo, and change color your choice. Then select the logo layer and pre-compose it. I call it logo comp, and choose move all attributes into the new composition. Now select the logo comp and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate, make it 2 duplicate. Call it logo comp 1 and logo comp 2, logo comp 3, go in effects and preset, and search for fill effect. and add into second logo composition and change color as shown now for the first logo composition and add a simple choker to it and set choke mat to 5% now create a new adjustment layer and add fast box blur to the adjustment layer Then change blur radius to 2%, and select repeat edge pixels. Now press shift and select logo composition 1 and logo composition 2 also select the adjustment layer and pre-compose them, I call it logo edge and hit ok. Perfect. Now add map image to timeline. Now for map image press S to bring up scale. Now scale it to near about 180%. Let's adjust the position, press P to open the position, and change the position value X axis as shown. Now at start of the timeline, create a keyframe for the position, at end of the timeline change position as shown. Now you see the animation.
Now go in effects and presets, and search for brightness and contrast. And add it to the map image. Now set brightness to minus 77%. Now pre-compose the map image, call map, and choose to move all attributes into the new composition, and hit OK. Select map composition and add CC glass. In CC glass open surface, in surface, set bump map to logo edge, and softness to 25%. Also set height 90%, as well as set displacement value to minus 300. Now open light, set light type to point light, and light height to 100%. Perfect. Now add CC Blobalize effect to map layer. In Blobby Ness, Set blob layer to logo edge, also change softness value to 3%, as well as set cutaway value to 0%. Now hide the logo edge layer. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the logo composition and set above on all layers. Now for map composition, change track mat to alpha mat logo comp. Now duplicate the map layer and delete CC Blobalize effect from map layer. Also press T to open opacity and set opacity to 50% and set mode to multiply. Again duplicate the logo composition and set above on layers and hide it. Now select the logo edge composition, map composition, and logo compositions, pre-compose them. Name it is reflection. Add CC light sweep to reflection composition. Now at 2 seconds, position center as shown. Now create a keyframe for center. At end of the timeline change position of the center as shown. Also, create a keyframe on the sweep intensity, as well as create a keyframe on edge intensity. and set sweep intensity to 0%, edge intensity to 0%, now go at 3 seconds. And set sweep intensity to 50%, and set edge intensity to 500%. Now go at end of the timeline. And set sweep intensity to 0%, edge intensity to 0%. Now select the reflection composition, and set mode to hard light. Now duplicate the logo composition, and set above the reflection composition, now go in effects and presets and search for Vegas effect, and apply to logo composition. Now in Vegas, open image contours, and set the threshold to 62%. Also set segment value to 1%. Now at start of the timeline, create a keyframe on length, and set length value to 0%. Now go on 2 seconds and set length value to 0.3%. Again go at 4 seconds and set value to 0%. Cool. 
Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and then click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression, in this expression box simply type time star 50. Let's move to the next step. Now it rendering set blend mode to transparent, and change color of your logo color. Also, set the width to 1%, and hardness to 0.7%. And add a glow effect to logo composition, and change glow threshold to 70%, also change the glow radius to 15%. It's look better to me. Now add a particles media file to the timeline, and add 4 color gradient to particles media file and set mode to add in 4 color gradient change blending mode to color then change color to logo color Now create a new adjustment layer and go in effects and presets and search for camera lens blur and add it to the adjustment layer. Now go at 2 seconds, then change blur radius to 0%, now create a keyframe on the blur radius, now at start of the timeline, set blur radius to 50%. Now select repeat edge pixels. Now go in effects and presets, and search optics compensation, add into the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds, create a keyframe on field of view, now at start of the timeline, change field of view to 180%. Also select reverse lens tester. Again go in effects and presets and search for exposure effect and add it to the adjustment layer. Now go at 2 seconds and create a keyframe on exposure. Now at start of the timeline, change the exposure value to 5%. Again create a new adjustment layer. I call it color correction. Select the layer and add curves to it. And adjust the curves as shown. Now our animation is complete. I see you in the next video.